Hey, this is Demon Driver here, and uh, let's get straight to business. Okay, what do we got here? We got the model of the MD-80. We have the RC MD-80's foam tail and rudder. And we have some balsa rudders here. We have more MD-80 tails. We have MD-80 stabilizers here. Without the elevator, elevators will be made out of uh, balsa, like the rudder. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we are going to obviously remove the foam rudder from the tail. And we're going to replace it with a balsa rudder. Okay, now what has to happen is, as you can see, this balsa rudder is squared off. All right? It's not aerodynamic. Not like, you know, this... 144th scale model of the uh, MD-80, we need to contour the trailing edge of the uh, rudder to make the airfoil, the symmetrical airfoil that exists on the tail and rudder of the MD-80. So I'm going to use this model to shape this. So let's go into the sanding pit and let's start sanding some balsa. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the sanding pit of death. <laughs> to the normal viewer, this is a normal bathroom, but in reality, it is a place where demon driver sands foam and balsa and all the crazy crap. And there ain't no crapping going on in here, I can tell you that. Alright, guys. This is where we're going to do some sanding. So let me get this thing situated and uh, let's get uh, let's get to work here. All right, let me find a uh, dust mask. Hey, this is Demon Driver, and we are back. I know, like a total nerd right now, I'm like, oh, Mr. Camera, I'm the mirror guy. <laughs> but, uh, let me show you some of the, um, let me show you some of the sanding tools I use. Here's a lathe. Alright, here's a lathe. This is great for, uh, shaping and foaming, um, wood and foam if you want to make uh, engine cowls, this is what I'm going to make, 767, L1011, the Convert 880, 990 engine cowls, you know, by doing, uh, by using this device here. Uh, we have a uh, plugged-in mouse sander. Comes in very handy. Okay, we got cordless Ryobi uh, hand sander right here. Orbital Ryobi hand sander. Put that down, get that out of the way. Ugh, this place is a madhouse. Okay. Alright, then we have a belt sander with a disc sander on it. This is what we're going to use right now to sand down the uh, MD-80 rudder. We have all different kind of hand paddle sanders, flat sanders. I love these pads right here. These are Norton uh, foam, pan, uh, foam pads. I use 150 grit and 100 grit. Uh, you got this little mouse, hand mouse. This is a great sanding pad. They got all different kinds of crap. And when you're doing this stuff, wear a dust mask. Seriously. Always wear a dust mask because you know what? You don't know... You really don't want to breathe all this stuff in. I, I mean, you know. I don't want to seem like a wuss, but to be honest, you just don't want to break this crap in. So, let's get down to... Oh, and of course, if you want to do this stuff, always have a good vacuum cleaner. This is a smaller uh, vacuum cleaner I got off a friend. So I think I now have like four or five vacuum cleaners. I have two, two wet vacs, three, one handheld wet vac, and two other HEPA, HEPA, HEPA vacuum cleaners. All right. Let's move this out of the way. Let's make some space. Alright. 
Sometimes when I do this, I hold the uh, vacuum cleaner right up to right up to the thing. I'll take the actual nozzle, turn it on, and I'll hold the uh, the vacuum cleaner right up to there like that and suck up everything and makes life easier. And just so you guys know, this is my second bathroom. I have two bathrooms, so trust me, this isn't my primary bathroom, thank God. I'm going to try and set this thing up here for you so we can get a, a good view as I send. All right, hang out here. Bear with me. we got a toilet as a tripod, so hang on. This could be a little... This could get a little tricky. Hang on here, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Hang on here. Let's get let's get into position here. All right. Hang on. Here. All right. There's the belt sander. Good. I think I'm in position. Hang on. We're getting there. Don't give up on me yet, guys. Hang on. I'm gonna get this. I think I'm gonna get this. All right, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, hang on. Hang on. All right, here we go. Turn on the camera. All right, here we go. Let me see if I can get this stupid ass camera situated so it doesn't fall over. And let me make sure this thing doesn't fall over here. Because that would really stink. Okay, I hope you guys can see what's going on here. Okay. Alright, hang on here. Hang on. Okay, I think that's good. I hope that's good. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Turn this sucker on. I am going to start sanding. Now, I'm using, here's the MD-80, right? I'm using the, uh, I'm looking at the rudder, and I notice the whole rudder angles back from the beginning of the rudder. So I got to also make sure what is the front of the rudder, what's the front of the rudder, what's the rear, front, rear. So I got to remember that. So I got a pen in here, and I write down on here, front. Right on there, front. So I don't screw up and, and sand the front instead of the rear. All right, let's get rocking. Okay. Band saw spinning. Watch your fingers. real close to the action here. Hang on. Hang on here. Let's get you guys closer to the action. Keep it even. Trying to keep it even. I don't want to take too much off, so it's like a balancing act. Alright. See that? Alright. That's what we did. Okay, now we're going to do it on the other side. Here we go. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. There we are. Okay. Now, it's a little bit uneven because we did more on this side. Even it out a little bit. Alright, this is where it starts to get a little tricky. You really 
gotta pay attention to what you're doing. Okay. Cause I'm trying to look at it as I'm doing it. See that? See that edge? How it's a little bit uh, not even? See that? How it's uneven that way? That side is down. I'm gonna flatten that out. Watch. the end of that and there we are you see what's happened now that is closer now to that it's not all the way there but it's getting there and this tool this belt sander helps me get there it's a real time saver and it saves a lot of wear and tear on the old hands all right Okay. Alright, now what we're going to do, we're going to do a little hand sanding to kind of contour the, uh, the rudder a little bit more. So now for this, what I'm going to do is use a, a flat sander like this. This paper is a little worn down, but I think it's still got a little life left in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'm just going to... sort of run this up and down the rudder. There we go. And there is balsa flying all over the place. This is a balsa winter wonderland over here. And I'm just working that balsa and looking at the balsa at the same time. I'm looking at the angle. I'm checking out Checking out the checking out the airfoil, and I got to take more out of right here. This was going to give you a nice flat, a flat surface. Okay, we're getting there. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, good. Let's get that edge a little bit thinner, that trailing edge of the rudder. There we go. Now you don't want to take it all the way down to a narrow point because then it's prone to dinging and you're going to screw it up. Okay, now. We're going to straighten out that coarse edge. You see that coarse edge right there? Here we go. We're going to straighten that out. I don't like that. And I'm using the mouse. Just using the mouse because this is a curved... This is a curved... Uh, this is the bottom of the rudder that meets the fuselage. So we got to get this right. We, gotta, we can't screw this up. Alright, now I'm going to use uh, this 150 Norton foam uh, sanding pad and I'm going I'm to clean it up, clean things up. Oh, you know what I forgot? Hmm. I forgot to add the curved... Uh, leading edge. Okay, let's do that right now. Here's an easy way to do it. Watch. You take your flat thing and you, there you go. 
There you go. I'm just adding that in right now. Looking up and down the... You don't want to go all the way. You, well, I almost went all the way there. You don't want to go too far in because you'll screw up the... To screw up the contour line, you don't want to do that. All right, here we go. Going up now on this side. See what's happening? We're giving the rudder its curved leading edge where it meets the uh, the the tail. Got to curve that. We got to curve it, y'all. Got to get this sucker curved on in here. Got to curve it. got to do the same up here too. You got to curve that up up there too. A little notch. Got to be curved without breaking it. <laughs> That's the hard part. Never sand with the against the grain because the wood will chip apart on you. Kind of dangerous. That's looking pretty good. I'm sort of happy with that. Breaking my own rules there. Alright. Bring in the hand sander, clean that up. Clean that up. Clean up the bottom. And uh, ha ha ha. There we are. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Now, do you see? Now the foam has got to be sanded to contour, you know, to match the, uh, you know, to match the curvature of the rudder. But there we go. Well, guys, that is, uh, that is how you sand down a balsa rudder you can do this with this technique with any kind of airplane from a, you know a uh, FW 190 all the way up to an A380 it doesn't matter all right guys this is demon driver and I got a lot of cleaning to do lucky me lucky you guys are just sitting at home chilling and a couple of you lucky guys are building some airplanes so good luck, and God bless. Bye-bye. Demon Driver, and I'm out of here.